the equivalent to 22 years before episode one of The Fern and the Rose. Ray Fern was born to Lord Grant Fern and Lady Melissa Fern in the town of Intu. However, Melissa Fern perished that night due to birthing complications. Yeah, let's go with that for now. A fern was a beautiful baby with piercing eyes, inexplicably colored, amber on the right and teal on the left. From the very beginning of his life, Ray's body was devastated by an illness without any known name or treatment. This subjected him to constant fever, nausea, migraines, fatigue, and worse. Grant Fern turned his Manor's Tower into Ray's dormitory, and for the first few years of Ray's life, Lord Grant Fern made a genuine effort to do the best he could with these dire turns in life, spending plenty of quality time with his son, singing to him, teaching him, and bonding with him. However, Lord Grant Fern never fully recovered from the loss of his wife. She was his anchor, his voice of reason, and truly in many ways, Melissa was his everything. Due to his grief and other complex factors not yet revealed, Grant came to feel repulsed in the presence of his son. His resentment grew, leaving him distant, callous, and increasingly obsessed with furthering his political influence in the region. With proper love and support, Ray might have learned to function within his limitations. He may have grown to tolerate his afflictions. However, after Ray's father withdrew his affection, leaving Ray in the care of an often inept and inebriated household staff, who were mandated to wear quarantine gear in Ray's chambers. This solidified Ray's identification as a bedbound invalid with no hope whatsoever of functionality or genuine human connection. Young Ray's undeveloped mind knew not even how to imagine the world beyond the empty walls of his dim bedchambers for much greater than the first decade of Ray Fern's life. His existence was characterized primarily by pain and solitude. Due to atrophy of the body and mind, the boy could not walk and had nearly forgotten altogether how to speak. 